Grade 6 math number 12.5b, squares and square roots. As we said in 12.5a, the area of a square can be written as a equals the side times the side or s squared. When a number is multiplied to itself or by itself, we say squared. The symbol, the long division sign that looks like it's got a check mark on it, is called a radical sign. The area of this square shape is the measure of its side multiplied to the measure of its side. One of its sides times one of its sides. And as we said in the previous video, a perfect square is the product of the number and itself. So 5 squared is equal to 5 times 5, or 25. That's a perfect square. It's using 5s and their whole numbers. We say that 5 is the square root of 25, and it's written as a 25 inside of a radical sign. The square root of 25 is 5. So any square shape that has a side of 5 units and a base of 5 units has 25 squares inside of it. Okay? We also discussed that perfect squares are 4, 19, 16, 36, 49, 64, because when you multiply a number to itself, it makes these perfect squares. See? 2 times 2 is 4. 3 multiplied to itself, 3, is a 9. 4 multiplied to itself, 4, is a 16, and so on. Okay? But not all squares are perfect. The square root of 25 is 5, and the square root of 36 is 6. But what's the square root of 30? Well, we could use a calculator to figure it out to get the exact number. The square root of 30 is 5.47722555751. Whew! We write them shorter as approximations with our double little squiggly line, our approximate sign. And we say that the square root of 30 is approximately 5.48, because we round this off. We say the 7 is large is larger than 4. Remember, if it's 5 or larger, we round up. So it tells this 7 to turn into an 8, and then all these numbers disappear. So we end up with a 5.48. See? We could also say that this 7 is telling the 4 to round up to a 5, and it's approximately 5.5. We want to write it even shorter. So we can estimate the approximate square of a number. Like, what's the square root of 20? Well, the square root of 16 is 4, and the square root of 25 is 5. And it's somewhere in between 16 and 25. But we've got a 4 and a 5 here. What's in between 4 and a 5? 4 is too small, 5 is too big. And we look at a number line, here's 16 with the 4, and here's 25. And if I count 4 this way and 4 this way, it's in the middle of 20 and 21, isn't it? It's like right in the middle there. So because the 20 is almost in between 16 and 25, remember, we're trying to find the square root of 20, we can say, because 4 is too small and 5 is too big, that it's right in the middle at 4 and a half, see, or 4.5. So we're estimating, so the estimate of the square root of 20 is approximately 4.5. We can multiply any number to itself to get a square. Even 3.12, if I multiply 3.12 times 3.12, I get 9.7344. The square root of 9.7344 is 3.12. See? So we can get decimals. So they don't always have to be perfect squares, okay? Perfect squares are when whole numbers are multiplied to themselves and we get this nice round number without a decimal point, okay? Now you know about perfect squares, squares, and square roots. I'll see you next video. Bye.